your online singing coach. Hey everybody, it's your online singing coach back again today with a new reaction and analysis. I'm really excited for this one. Shout out to David for letting me know about this one. We both love Kelly Clarkson and we both love Heart. North American Royal Flush Tour, and today they are sharing some stories behind their hit songs. It's such a great day. Okay, so I have yeah. to ask you about this song. So you were just telling me um, a minute ago in the break that Crazy On You, that was your first time in a studio, right, to record like a song? Yeah, that was the first um, song I ever recorded as a singer in a studio. What and, a oh colossal gosh. giant of a song to start with. <laughs> Like, I know. No pressure. Oh yeah. my gosh, no kidding. I can't believe that's the first song she ever recorded. She's a beast on that song, a beast. One of my favorite female vocal performances probably ever is Crazy On You. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> it's, I mean, not only like the range of it, but the personality of it, the soulfulness of it, everything. It's a huge song. Yeah, well, you were talking yeah. about feeling. Yeah. And so that's that's what I had. I didn't have a bunch of technique or anything yet, you know, but wow. I but I natural, definitely natural singer. Um, felt how to say certain words, how to jump in early sometimes, how to blue note things. Lay back, yeah. Just feel that kind of stuff. You yeah. Know? Yes, feeling must be conveyed to have a powerful vocal performance. But what was interesting to me was she was saying she didn't have a lot of vocal technique at that time. And, and I was just trying to say, well, she clearly had a lot of natural, not only natural vocal talent, but natural vocal technique because the notes in that song, the high notes in that song, you would hear so much strain and vocal tension in those notes if she wasn't hitting them correctly. In fact, she wouldn't have even been able to get up there on those high notes if she didn't have the technique to support those notes. Interesting. So how about you singing crazy on you? Okay. I don't think anyone wants to hear me sing it, but I will sing it. <laughs> oh, I do. I think people want to hear you all sing it, but I will I think sing it because I, I want this song. I love this song so much. Okay. Wait, I thought we were going to watch Alone, but we're just going to keep this flowing because I love Crazy On You so much. It's such a great song, and I'm pumped to hear Kelly sing it. Woo! Yes. You kept me alive with your sweet flowing love. Crazy on you. Oh, stunning. Crazy on you. Woo! Let me go crazy, crazy on you. Yeah. I just got to show you. Too short. Remember that time? I got cheered on by Ed Wilson. <laughs> I loved it. Oh, Kelly, 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 Kelly. She is, that was so gorgeous, so gorgeous. Such beautiful control. I loved the grit that she brought in. Oh, and then the high notes, perfect. It was so short, let's just watch it again. I was a willow last night in a dream. I bit down over a clear on a stream. Sang you the song that I heard up above And you kept me alive with your sweet flowing love Crazy on you Sing. Crazy on you Ooh. Let me go crazy, crazy on you I just Oh my God! Sure, she means that too because you know I don't know any female vocalist that doesn't love and respect 
Kelly Clarkson, and I don't know any female vocalist that doesn't love and respect Ann Wilson. Um, she's a legend. She is a legend and an inspiration to so many singers. She was one of my first inspirations as well. She wrote the book on like the mix voice, on having a pretty voice and a rocker voice at the same time. That's so, that's so hard to pull off. Kelly's rendition just now, that effortless flip between the grit and the beautiful pristine tone and her gorgeous vibrato. Ah, oh, that was a treat. Okay, now are we gonna see alone? Let's see what happens next. I'm sweating. So <laughs> But you've started accepting outside songs later in your career, right? And you're yeah. kind of glad that you did that, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 It ended yeah. up, because now you're both. You can write your stuff or you can be the vessel for something. Yeah, yeah, and we... I love how she put that. You can be the vessel for something. That's just such a beautiful way of putting, singing someone else's songs. Singing songs that someone else wrote. It doesn't mean you can't connect to it. It doesn't mean you can't deliver the emotion, the message, the feeling of a song that was written by somebody else. I just love how she explained that. Yeah, yeah. and we... We actually came across a couple of real gems that way. These dreams and alone. Mm -hmm. And uh, oh my God, if if alone had not have happened, that would have been really sad <laughs> for a lot of us. <laughs> like I'm really glad. <laughs> I'm glad you did that. Too. So cute. The music it changed. It changed for not only you but everyone in the '80s. It just kind of decades kind of take on new like I don't know it's paths. So cool, the songs themselves, the way they imprint into your DNA, mm -hmm. and they're the soundtrack of your life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they save your life. Beautiful, and they Nancy. And stop you from committing suicide. Yes, you know, yeah. Songs can do that stuff. Yes. And 100. listening to them and writing and them. Even if you have to do them a thousand times in, on a, in front of a lot of people, it means so much to them that you don't get sick of that. Mm. But it, it can also mean something different to you in that moment. Like in different right. chapters of my life, when I sing different yes. songs in my catalog, I'm like, yeah. I don't even think I really got this before now. Yeah, there's a new sense of memory yeah. attached to those lyrics this time. Oh, that's cool too. I, gosh, these, these women are having a very intelligent and fascinating conversation about music and being a musician, being an artist. Nancy was talking about how songs <clears throat> imprint in your DNA. I loved that. And now she's talking about new sense memories. Oh gosh, these are just such beautiful ways of describing sensation of music and one's life connected to music and vice versa. I'm sure you know exactly what they mean. Um, certain songs can transport you directly back into an era of your life. It can remind you of a first kiss. It can remind you of the death of a loved one. It can take you right back to those moments. And absolutely what Nancy was saying, songs can evolve. What a song means to you can evolve. The understanding of what a song is can evolve, as Kelly was saying. Oh. <laughs> I'm loving this. And we still haven't gotten to alone. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. So it's like they have a whole new life to them. Well, right. Anne, you mentioned Alone. So what are your thoughts on that song and psh, maybe singing a little of it? Yeah, well, yeah. at first, <laughs> when I first heard the demo that was um, sent to us, mm -hmm. I didn't like it that much because the mm -hmm. way the demo sang, singer sang it, it was like a whiny kind of a victim, victim song. Yeah. Like Ooh. a victim. Yeah, and I just kind of bounced away from that, you know? Yeah. Let's see, what would that sound like? A whiny victim song. How do I get you alone? That's my whiny victim imitation. <laughs> I don't know if that's what her demo sounded like. But then they convinced me to at least just try it, you know. Yeah. So <laughs> I did, and I just put my own sort of fire into it. Yeah. And it changed from, from a whiny thing to a to one of the greatest vocals ever? <laughs> what? <laughs> it, well, almost into a thing that had more rage in it. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's yeah. one it, of the greatest vocals right. ever. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. yep. Can't argue that. No singer, by the way, is like, oh, I get to cover this song. <laughs> like, <laughs> no one wants to follow you. <laughs> but, but so, yeah, so that's a good little. I mean, Kelly's saying that because <laughs> if anyone had to sing it in front of Ann Wilson, <laughs> Yeah, that would be horrifying. 
but I know a lot of female singers who love to cover heart because these songs feel so good in your voice. These songs have soaring melodies. These songs have the, the fire, as she said. They've got power. They've got sizzle. Let's, let's say it like this. They're not, heart songs aren't like passive songs to sing. Singers, singers, you know, people who really have chops, they love to sing heart songs because it feels so good to just let those melodies soar. Okay, here we go. Entrance, if you wanna like maybe sing a little of Alone. <laughs> okay, fine. You can project okay. or you can use a mic. Oh, that's right, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. I'm sure well, I'm sure Anne's voice would be huge enough. She wouldn't even need the mic. But yeah, let's use the mic. I might hop okay. on. Yes. Always got play on my own. I never really cared till I met you. And now it chills me to the She really looks just like a kid in a candy store getting to do these songs with them. Um, but no, too short. Kelly was, of course, wailing the high part. She just blended with Anne perfectly. Anne still has her same signature sound. She still got that perfect mixed voice. But that was like 30 seconds, y'all. Can I find any more little clips? I, I think I have found another moment that's gonna be phenomenal. We're now checking out these dreams. Let's sing this song, because this is one of yes. my favorites. Um, and I want to warn people, I didn't ask to sing the lead. They were just like, you take the lead. And I was like, oh, okay. So I didn't want it to look part. like I was like, I've got your song, ladies. Um, <laughs> anyway, I'm very excited and also nervous. She's so humble. Spare a little candle, save some light for me. That's great. There's figures up ahead, moving in the trees. White skin in linen, perfume on my wrist. Beautiful. And the full moon that hangs over. I love that line. These dreams in the mirror. These dreams. I seriously was about to cry. That was so beautiful. That three-part harmony, perfection. Those three voices, incredible blend. I felt that one deep in my bones. I know that might sound dramatic, but it's 100% true. One more time. Spare a little candle, save some light for me. Yeah. <laughs> figures up ahead, moving in the trees. White skin in linen, perfume on my wrist. And the full moon that hangs over. I love it. These dreams in the mirror. These dreams go on and I close my eyes. I live another life These dreams that sleep It's cold outside Ugh. Every moment I'm away Right there The further I'm away The further I'm away 
You better sing at the end right now. You all better sing. Oh my God. It's like the prettiest thing I've ever heard. Oh, I have to just one more time. All three of them. Gosh, this moment right here needs to win an Emmy. Ugh, what, what category would that be? I don't know. I'm not an Emmy voter yet. I, sh I should look into that. Anyway, that has to be the most beautiful thing I have seen on daytime TV on YouTube ever. Absolutely otherworldly talent. That moment there was the most divine feminine power. It was strong. It was beautiful. It was classy. It was gentle. It was tender. It was heartfelt. It was everything. Well, they were all really, really short segments, but I enjoyed this as if I was sitting there in the front row of the audience. I hope you enjoyed watching this with me. If you did, please be sure to hit subscribe. If you want to see my other reactions to Kelly Clarkson, you can find them right here. Thanks so much again, and I'll see you next time.